Welcome to Andrew's Workshop Projects Part 6. An interesting way to attach a flywheel to the crankshaft. The engine is running well but sticks periodically. The solution was to remove the top cylinder cover in order to see what was happening and rectify the problem. One of my Patreon supporters said he liked the camera angle that made the workbench look small. The yellow workbench in the background is not a full size item, it's a very small model and a very nice very small model too. I hadn't noticed this because most of my efforts were being focused on the engine and I thank you George for pointing it out. It is not far away, it is just small. As one of my girlfriends used to say to me many years ago. The engine is running quite well, there is something slightly uneven about it to my ear. We will look into this later on in the video. Now for a bit of chat between Andrew and myself. Take my time. Good. I've had to put some thermal insulation up to about there and there because inside. Yeah, because the original paint was just ordinary gloss paint, uh, you know, enamel paint, and it burnt it off to that depth. So I put it in the lathe and, and spun it off with some memory cloth. What pressure we on? Fifty. Unbelievable. And by now. Look at the fire. Just not, nice, isn't it? It's got nothing. One pair. But if we were to now stop it, refill the burner and put it at that speed, it'd be blowing off like you wouldn't believe. What's the pressure? Just under 60. Here's something interesting, a collet for flywheels. Now obviously it's not as simple as it first seems because to make this work that has to go in there but when you tighten it up the flywheel has a collet so the flywheel doesn't need any extra fittings on it. I'm going to put that inboard. Inboard, yeah. That yeah. way and I've even got some bolts so they look like the proper bolts. I didn't use cap head screws. What? No cap head screws? No, so that, that basically goes in there like, like so. Andrew, I hate to say this, but you've got a bubble in your water glass. Look. A quick open and shut with your fingers. That's all you need to do. I cannot believe how economical this engine is on steam which, to be honest, is to do with its mechanical condition, the way you've made it, even though that looks like something out of a horror film. The Frankenstein I can't believe how quiet engine. it is. Do you know what I mean? With the notch up. So... I can notch up towards the reverse. Right, so that's going to use even less steam because the valve isn't moving as far. Oh, of course it's just going like that. Yeah. But you don't have much power. Look. So if you want to run it for a long period of time, it's called notching up. Ah. They do it on steam locomotives. When they're first set off, they need full power to get the train moving. And once it's rolling, they notch back. Mm, they're not easy. to the camera. A Stuart twin launch. Beautifully made. Two piston rings in each cylinder. Good quality machining, even marking out blue so we know it's in the middle. Nicely machined port faces, bit of bit of uh, wet to dry sandpaper would improve it, but the thing about slide valves is they tend to wear in. This is a sole plate from a Stuart Twin launch and it's a good metal casting. Once again it's beautifully put together and the oil cups, believe it or not, are not commercial ones. Unlike the horrendous previous oil cups that Andrew made, these are world class. In fact, if he fails as an engineer, he can become an oil cup maker. Very nice indeed Andrew, very nice. Thank you, Kate. 
Here we have the engine running and the boilers blowing off and it's running at quite a good speed. This really is a nice little engine. I still don't like that, but that's just by the way. I don't like that much either. The knob's a lot better. I'm glad you like me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I said it's the worst knob I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm glad you said that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move it towards reverse, which is notching off. Now the engine will not sound as good, but listen to the blower. Getting louder. Because the engine is now using a lot oh, less steam. steam. Because the valve is not moving quite as much. You feel it hard right at the bottom. It's probably not hard, uh, but not now. And it's ready to... There we are, that's perfection. It certainly was worth taking the chance. You could get away with putting another very thin nut on top. Yeah, that's what I think. I have one of those somewhere. I mean, generally speaking, uh, forward, you can leave it down. So if everything went wrong with the mechanism and, and that didn't work, you drop the lever. Press the levers down. Got you. Well, that's going anti-clockwise in that position. Yeah. During the steam test, I did notice an anomaly where the engine ran much better in one direction than the other and Andrew said he'd set the valve in precisely the right position. And at various times in these runs, the engine would stop, and there was something fouling the piston. There's only one thing to do, remove the top cylinder cover, and here's the problem. The piston is working loose and moving towards the top of the cylinder. There are various ways to prevent this, thread locker, Loctite, or even a centre punch where the thread meets the piston. I asked Andrew to make two holes in the piston, not all the way through, obviously, and not into the space occupied by the O-ring. In no time at all, Andrew took the piston and returned it looking like this, so it now has two holes to take a pair of circlet pliers to tighten it or slacken it or remove it entirely. Even though I asked Andrew to use some Loctite 542 to seal and retain the piston onto the piston rod, he used 603 or something similar. You can see in this next clip that the sealant is green, which is more of a retainer than a thread sealant. I'm thinking hopefully this should go right down to the bottom. And indeed it did. When I moved the piston up and down in the cylinder, it was fine. Although it was a bit closer to the bottom than the top, so I adjusted it slightly before we put the cylinder cover back in place. On a steam engine, the piston really does need to travel the same amount at each end. A quick forward and reverse test. And that is it, equilibrium has been restored in the universe and the engine runs well. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.